Alright, so when I last left you, I taught you guys how to grab an item and fire your missiles in an angle, if I remember right. So today, um, what I'm going to show you how to do is get yourself a nice little menu. It's going to be super simple, so um, I'm not going to do any like crazy complex UI design. Just something to show where your missiles are when you hit the menu button. That way there's... Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I want to create the the menu itself so this is like i said it's going to be super simple we're going to go create a new scene grab another node we're going to go with our canvas layer after we start a new scene i'm going to name this menu overlay and then we're going to need a couple of things here so i need a texture rack and then i need a bunch of rich text labels and that's just going to be for words and stuff. So once that's done, once that's set up, we're going to take our texture rack and we're going to grab it and we're going to make it the same size as our window because we want it to cover up everything like so. Then we're going to go into our sprites and stuff. All right. I'm going to grab that. Whoops. Sorry, have it. I'm going to grab that. We're going to add it to our texture there. We're going to control s save this as just plain old menu and um, it looks like i didn't edit this picture out um, the other one i took out these little boxes um, it doesn't really matter if we're just going to cover these up anyway like i said i'm not going to make it look pretty it's more of a utilitarian type deal all right so this here is just going to be menu background and don't worry about these text labels just yet I'm gonna with that being done, oh, I need one more thing. Um, I want to add a marker 2D. Grab that marker 2D. And I need it to be in like this corner here. That way it covers up. Okay. I think everything here is set up. So now we're going to go and create a brand new scene again. And this one is going to be the part or the, uh, the missile that we're going to add. Okay, there we go. I think that's all I did. Yeah, that's all I did. Beautiful. Okay, that's all we need to do for this. If I'm not mistaken. I'm a liar. Um, I did add a script to this. But there's nothing I can do just at this particular moment. Alright. So, with that being said. I'm going to now add the menu to the player so we're going to go to the player and go into the script so we're going to go all the way to the tippity top here and we're going to add a new on ready variable and we're going to call this get or not get menu uh yeah no that's what it's get menu equals preload and we're just going to load in that scene so let's go to menu we're just gonna pop that in right there huh oh. you don't have to add the quotation marks it does it automatically derp, derp, derp. okay so now that that's done all I have to do now is create a function and what we're gonna do is variable new one load menu and that's going to equal get menu dot instantiate. I'm glad it can automatically spell that for me because we already know how me and spelling go. What the get? So we're going to add child, and then we're going to do load menu. Okay. So with that being said, we should now be able to load in the menu by pressing the. Uh... Oh wait. Wait 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 wait. I did not add it to this of the menu. And two, I need an input for that. So let's create a brand new one. Dot is action just press. Uh, we only want to do it once because um, Godot will automatically read it a trillion times. Okay. So now with that done, when I press the M button, I should get the menu. Beautiful. Now, unfortunately, I can't exit out of that menu because I didn't uh, 
I didn't um, what you gonna call it I don't have a way to um, cancel the damn thing so we're gonna go to our menu script which I don't see in here uh, because I did I never made one <laughs> All right, menu I'm, I'm I, I know things I swear <laughs> All right, so we're gonna create a brand new menu and the first thing I want to do is I want to be able to, to, to close that out so we're gonna actually create a custom signal here and we're just gonna call that menu closed and what this is gonna do is when we press the M button again I want it to delete the I want it to delete the menu screen that way we can go back into the game so this is actually pretty simple to do Thank God. So all I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a new function. This is going to be the physics process. And we're going to call this exit menu. And then we're going to create that damn function right the fu now. So exit. No, not exit tree, you piece of garbage. Exit menu. And all I'm going to do is if, and all I want to do is emit that signal. Menu closed. And then after that, we want to queue free. All right, so as of right now, this emit signal isn't going to do anything. I need it to do something um, a little bit later. Actually, you know what? We're going to do that right now. We're going to use it right now. Go back to our player here. Okay. So, now that that's done, we can actually get access to that connection or that, that signal. So, we want to do menu.connect. And then we want to call that signal, which was menu closed. And then after that, we want to toggle menu. Now I gotta create that function here right now. So I wanna be able to toggle this menu on and off. So once I press the M button, it's going to close the menu and then open it up again. So I wanna be able to make sure that when I press it, it's only doing one or the other. I don't want it doing both things at the same time. So I'm creating, I'm creating a signal that's going to fire off, um, that's gonna fire off a signal. And that signal, once it's fired off, is gonna be received by us. And then once it receives it, it's gonna run this function, which is toggle menu. Now it's not doing anything right now because I haven't we haven't programmed anything, but I'm gonna have it do something right this very second. So we're gonna do variable menu opened, and that's gonna be equal to false. And essentially, what's gonna happen is this boolean is gonna tell the uh, is gonna tell Godot whether our menu is open or not. And if it's open, I want it to close it. And if it's not opened, or if it's closed, I want it to be opened. All right, so now we're going to go all the way back down to open menu. And what we're going to do next is do menu opened equals true. So this means that the menu is, is true. And over here, we want to put menu opened equals false. OK, so if I did this correctly, and I'm pretty sure I didn't, but assuming that I did this correctly, when I press the button, it should open up the menu, and then when I press the button again, it should close the menu. Let's test it and see. So I'm gonna hit M, beautiful, and I hit M again. Ah, I knew it. All right, where's the mistake? <laughs> Where is the mistake? Oh, oh, I'm dumb. And I forgot to open, well, not open, menu, menu opened, or menu closed, or whatever the fuck. 
<sighs> the joys of being an idiot. All right. There we go. Now, why this is all good and great and grand and all that stuff, there's one little tiny problem. So, as you can see here, I'm going to stand right here. I'm going to hit the menu button, and then I'm going to press the walk key. All right. I should be at the end of the map right now. Yeah, see that? We're not pausing the men we're not pausing the game when we're in the menu, so we gotta do that now. When we press the menu key, what we wanna do is get tree. And then we wanna do dots, and then we wanna do paused, and we want this to be equal to true. And then once we close the menu, we want it to do the exact same thing we just did. We want to get the tree, we want to get the paused, and we want to equal this to false. Now there is a bit of a problem though, and that is if we press the pause button, um, or if we press the menu button right now, it's going to pause the game, meaning everything that's, that's currently running is going to stop, including the menu itself. And that's a problem because then we won't be able to leave the menu. And it's, essentially, we soft lock the game every time we open up the menu. So the way we're going to fix that is we're going to go into menu here. We're going to go to the menu um, overlay. And we're going to go down to process. And instead of where it says mode, instead of hit inherit, we want to be, I believe I did disabled always. So now, if I did it correctly, if I hit the menu key and I press the wall key, I shouldn't go anywhere. Beautiful. Beautiful. So, there we go. Oh, that takes care of the menu. Um, or at least the, um, the first part of the menu. Now to add the missiles to the menu. Um, that way players can see what items they have access to. So what we want to do is when we collect the missiles, here, we want them to show up or appear somewhere on the screen here. That way the players can <clears throat> can see what they, they've they obtained. Um, and like I said before, this is great, but they're not going to have access to a... They're not going to have access to a debug menu. And why is this debugger on? Delta's never used. Go fuck yourself. All right, I post out of here. So I actually did an item tracker first before I added the um, missile, the missiles to the um, the menu UI. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to edit the video so that we do the the adding the missile part first, and then we'll do the item tracker. So you're going to see that I say to add the item tracker um, at some point in this this coming up port portion um, don't worry about that you can just use your player inventory to get the same effect to, for it to show up and then later on you can switch it back to the item tracker um, once we get to that part in the video so like I said I'm just gonna switch I'm just gonna swap them around in the editing that so if things look a bit weird that's why yes I can now add the missiles to the um, the menu so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my menu. Okay. So I'm just cleaning things up here. So I'm going to go back to our menu here. And what I want to do is I need to get an on ready variable. And we're obviously going to use this to get that missile. Add missile pack. So we're going to preload. And then we're going to find our um, what was that? Oh no, it's it's add it's add to inventory. Yeah, yes, add to inventory like that. And then what I want to do is on the ready function. I want to make a new function. What the hell is this? I want to add a new method function, whatever the hell, called add missiles. 
and inside that method or function, you know I'm just gonna call it functions because I'm probably confusing the sh out of you. Okay, so I'm gonna add missiles, and all we want to do is just instantiate that. Um, well, actually, I need to check if player dot inventory item tracker and then this is missiles pickup gonna make sure that's spelled correctly control C control V looks like I did spell it at least consistently I don't know if I spelled it right um, dot size and we want to know if it's greater than and then we're just gonna add a child. Add a child, load missiles. You know what I'm gonna call this? Load missiles to menu. Okay. So I think that's all we need to do. I know that was a bit of a long roundabout way of doing things but it makes it works <laughs> it works all right let me see if this actually works so if whoops what's going on here oh because i i spelled it properly this time <laughs> and this is probably gonna do the same shit so let's do that again okay so hit it Give me a second here as I correct all my errors. Okay, so this is here, we don't have we don't have anything here. But now when I click jump over here and I grab this package, it does appear, but it doesn't appear properly. We I didn't set the uh, position. So let's do that right now. Now how did I set that position? Oh, I know exactly how I set that position. Let's go to menu. All right, before we add the child, we have to add, go here, load missiles to menu, and then we gotta do position. Yeah, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm correct. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Marker 2D dot position, oh, excuse me, global position. Okay, now it should work. Sorry if I hit M. Sorry if I hit M, you can see, Nothing's there, and then again, hit that, and then I hit M, and now we got our nice little menu thing popping up here. Now, if you're wondering why I put it in the corner here, um, it's because the position of any item in Godot is whatever this little centerpiece is. So it's always the top left corner. And I think that's just a programming thing because I know in Pygame it's the same thing. So that's why I did it. Um, this just where it's going to load in and how I wanted it. So. so yeah. Okay, now that's done. Let's get some more freaking water. <clears throat> um, do I have it so that it, it updates this, the missiles on the uh, screen here? Okay, let's do that now then. Let's uh, make it so this stuff updates. So this is the item box, yeah? Okay, yes. So I need a brand new script, add to menu, and all we are going to do is create one little function. Everyone's favorite, the ready. And I just wanna grab those, those text boxes so those are current ammo, and I want that to dot text, and I want that to be equal to player inventory dot inventory missiles. Whoops, missile, and then I want this to be dot size. So all this is saying is. Um, 
get the size of the missile inventory and that's going to give us a number and whatever that number is we want it to display it as text but because it's um because this is a list and we're calling a, a method called uh, size it's going to put, it's going to bring back an integer and it's going to cause a crash um, the rich text labels only accept strings so we're just going to convert that with an str I was about to say std and we're going to do the whoops we're going to do the exact same thing with the max ammo dot text but this time we are going to do player inventory dot max missiles and again we need to do a string because that is also going to be that's also going to be a integer all right so now if I hit this you can see our missiles have changed Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. If I do this, uh-oh, 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 what happened here? Try that again. Wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is why you should learn how to spell, kids. All right, let's try this again. I just want to see if it updates. Uh oh, it's not gonna fire. It's not firing the missiles now because things are not spelled correctly. All right, are we gonna do this correctly, or do I have to spend all night? Okay. Okay. Now you can see it updates. Fired a few. It says three now, and if I it says three up there, and if I fire another one, it it updates. All right. So that's good but it, it's it's three o'clock right now <laughs> so um i think i got everything i want to teach for right now so next time i'll do doors so you can see um these items disappear for good that way just like in this particular scene here um that way when you grab them and you go through a door they they never appear again uh, because you've collected them so and then if I can figure out how to do saving we'll do saving <sighs> all right guys good night I am going to bed <sighs> I'm gonna do my best basketball impression and bounce I right, take care guys <laughs>